welcome back to the Mama Nurse channel. Um, as you can see, I'm driving right now. I actually just left my baby's newborn appointment, so we are headed back home. Well, actually, I'm meeting up with a coworker real quick. Um, she's donating some newborn diapers. She just had a baby. I think she's about two months old, give or take now. Um, so she had some leftover newborn diapers, so I told her we could um, make use with them. So I'm headed to meet her to pick those up. Then I'm gonna run just a couple errands and get back home um, with this COVID stuff going on. I definitely don't wanna keep the baby out too long. So I'm just making that stop and then one other stop because um, it's something that I have to do. Um, and it's not something that anybody could do for me. So um, I'm gonna make those two stops. So just stay tuned for the video and we'll chat back in soon. As you can see, I have my Duncan. It's this new strawberry um, dragon fruit refresher. Oh my goodness, so good. It's the first time I tried it. They have like medium sizes for $2 all day. So when I got to the drive-thru, I asked them which one was the favorite. They have strawberry, dragon fruit, and peach passion fruit. And the girl said that the strawberry was the favorite. So I went with her advice and I tried it. Oh, you guys have to check it out. It's so good. Um, and I just got an order of hash browns. I just needed a, like a light snack because I had a little breakfast before we left um, for his appointment but I definitely could use something small before lunch. It's about 11.30 right now. Um, so I had to just grab a quick little pick me up and that definitely did it. Did I forget to mention that we are doing Fresh Face Thursday <laughs> um, with mommy <laughs> bags and all. But um, yeah, I didn't feel up to doing makeup today because honestly, it was the first time me and baby were getting out the house um, since delivery and time was of the essence. <laughs> I did not have time to do it. So we are just doing a full face of um, freshness, no eyebrows, no nothing, just washed face um, and headed out the door. So here we are. If he went to his doctor's office today, why does he have to go back to the office tomorrow? I'm Vanessa, and today we're gonna to be talking about my son's newborn appointment. Um, so don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions about um, anything that I may not discuss about the newborn visit, please drop them down below and I'll be sure to answer them. So this is just gonna be a quick um, sit down, chit chat, just to give you a heads up on what to expect at your baby's newborn visit, which is the first appointment after birth. So typically, you, the doctor would wanna see your baby, the pediatrician would wanna see your baby within five to seven days after delivery. Um, some hospitals will schedule it before you leave the hospital. Other hospitals will just let you know, hey, um, have your baby follow up with their pediatrician within five to seven days. Um, typically at this visit, it's basically just to build a rapport with the physician, um, go over all of the delivery and pregnancy info, if there were any complications and things like that. Um, the physician is going to do a uh, wellness check and just see how baby is doing after postpartum, which is in uh, after delivery stage. Um, they'll recommend any follow-up that's needed, any referrals that are needed, and basically ask you any questions that you have, any concerns, um, or if you need any help with resources or anything like that. So once you arrive at the pediatrician's office, um, post-pandemic, you have to wait in your car with babies, so please make sure that you live in a hot, if you live in a hot state, your AC is working. <laughs> um, you call when you arrive in the parking lot. They'll bring out the newborn paperwork or new patient paperwork for you to fill out. Ours were, were about four pages. Um, just asking about what went on during pregnancy, if there are any complications during delivery, any siblings in the home, and things like that. Um, once you fill out that paperwork, 
you'll just wait in the car until they call you back. Um, they'll give you a call and say, hey, we're ready for your baby to come back. So you go into the office, you sign in, you give them your driver's license insurance card, and then you go into the room to actually see the pediatrician. So the nurse comes in first, she'll take the baby's weight, their length and their head um, circumference measurements just to see if there have been any changes since delivery and they'll typically do that at every wellness check that you go to throughout um, the baby's life. Um, so once they do that and you'll wait for a few more minutes, the pediatrician will come in, basically ask you those same questions again. Um, the hospital will give you some discharge paperwork, so make sure you bring that. My baby had um, a renal ultrasound done because during pregnancy, they seen some fluid around his kidneys. Thank God that has resolved. Um, so he just needs to do a follow-up in six months just to make sure that it's still resolved and um, the fluid didn't come back. So keep in mind that only one adult parent can go with the baby for the newborn uh, checkup, being that we're in this pandemic stage. Um, in the past, my spouse and I have always gone to all appointments together, but now it's limited to one adult parent. You do have to wear a mask. Um, baby does not because he's under two years old, but once they get to that two-year-old age, then they would have to wear a mask if they're still in this pandemic stage. Um, so basically the doctor is going to ask you about feedings, if you're breastfeeding or bottle feeding or formula feeding, um, how many wet diapers the baby has had, how many dirty diapers the baby has had, um, sleeping arrangements. So once all questions are asked answer and answered, um, then the doctor will go in and do a full head to toe physical. Um, just to make sure that everything looks okay, um, discuss any concerns if there are any. Uh, the hospital that I delivered at, they referred my son for another hearing test. Um, since we've been home, we can tell that he can hear because um, he is responding to noise, but you do still want to have that documentation. So we'll be scheduling that in the near future um, so that he can have that done. I also want to get him circumcised, so we went ahead and scheduled that for tomorrow. Uh, with my first son, we were able to get it done in the hospital because the doctor who does them, he was in town. Unfortunately for this delivery, he was out of town, so we have to actually go come back to the doctor's office um, to have that done. So we'll be doing that tomorrow. Just a heads up for any moms who have baby boys, um, they have to be less than 10 pounds less than 30 days old in order to get the circumcision done if it's not done at the hospital before discharge. Um, he didn't have to receive any shots at this visit. He's up to date. He received his hepatitis B shot while he was in the hospital. So didn't have to do any shots or anything like that. So overall the visit was good. Um, his weight is eight pounds and 12 ounces. He's healthy. Um, all right, mamas, so that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you didn't like the video, hit a thumbs down. It's okay. Um, just let me know what I could do better for next time. If I didn't answer anything that you were curious about, please feel free to drop it down below and I'll make sure to get back to you. You can also reach me at my email. It will be down in the description box um, with any concerns that you may have that you might not want posted um, publicly. So until next time, be well, be safe, and live life.